He is leading the anti-bullying campaign in Michigan. It is named after his son, at eighth grader, who committed suicide after an anti-gay hazing in East Lansing. And now the boy's father is calling for more changes in response to a targeted investigation into how schools are reporting or not reporting bullying. Targeted investigator Ken Coker is uh, joining us now with what he's been able to find out as a follow-up to that report. Yeah, for Kevin Epling, the fight against bullying has become a passion in the nine years since his son's death. Kevin Epling was quick to respond to a targeted investigation with a Facebook post. As a school, you know, you cannot not report something so you look good. We've got to make sure that we have safety over our school image. A state website shows Michigan schools reported 34,000 bullying cases last year. Grand Rapids Public Schools reported 1,800 alone while some districts, including Rockford, showed none. As a victim, you're probably going to say, well, wait a second, you know, I, this happened to me, and you're not reporting it. Grand Rapids school it's leaders say their number is closer to 60, and in Rockford, nearly 50. They blame confusion over the definition of bullying. Some schools probably don't report anything because they don't want to be seen as the bad school. Epling says targetates findings show a need for accurate reporting and this single definition. I want schools to report it so they have an idea of what's going on in their schools so they can take the best action to combat that. If we don't have stats, you know, we're just, we're just throwing money away. A retired Grand Rapids principal says she believes the bullying numbers are higher than the district is saying. Most of the discipline problems that came, came my way had something to do with bullying. She did her dissertation on bullying and started an anti-bullying program at Kent Hills Elementary which spread to a handful of other Grand Rapids schools. We were very intentional in, in teaching kids about what does a bully look like? What can we do to support a victim? Um, what can a bystander do? Misconduct reports and suspensions both dropped. And you can see that suspensions went down pretty dramatically. Before she retired in 2010, she pitched her program to the district, which turned her down. Instead, the district started a new program to reward good behavior. Did GRPS take it as seriously as they should have when you were there, bullying? Um, probably not. Yeah, probably not. Kent Hills fifth grader Lewis Richardson has noticed the difference since his anti-bullying principal left. I noticed some more uh, bullying you know, that happens on a, on a playground. Grand Rapids school leaders have said they do take bullying seriously. They plan to send their new, much lower bullying numbers to the state. Back to you.